In these problems, we are multiplying polynomials. And what are polynomials? Well, they're these kinds of expressions in algebra where you have more than one term. We've got a 5x and we've got a negative 4y. And we want to square it. The first thing to do is to remember that when you square something, you multiply it by itself. So this problem is really 5x minus 4y times 5x minus 4y. That's the same thing as 5x minus 4y squared. Now to multiply, we are going to use something called FOIL. And FOIL stands for first outside, inside, and last. And what it means is we multiply the first terms, then the outside terms, then the inside terms, and then the last terms, and then we add everything together. So let's see how this goes. First, I want to multiply the first terms. Well, the first term in each polynomial is 5x. So this is going to be 5x times 5x. Because there's a number and a variable, we do this kind of in two steps. 5 times 5 is 25. And x times x, well, something times itself is that thing squared. So x times x is x squared. All right, we've done the f in FOIL. Let's do the O. The outside terms would be this one again and this one. So they're on the outside of this whole expression. So 5x times a negative 4y. Don't forget this negative sign. So 5 times 4 is 20. This is going to be a negative number, though. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. And x times y, well, uh, we can't do any squares there because we've just got 1x and 1y. So the way we write that when you multiply x by y is just xy. So that comes out to negative 20 xy. So there is our outside done. Now the inside terms are these two, a negative 4y and a 5x, which is just what we did the last time, but just in a different order. So negative 4 times 5 is negative 20, and y times x. You could write that as yx. I'm going to write it xy. It's the same thing, and these will be like terms that we have to add together. So I'm just writing them in the same order. All right, and finally, so that's the inside. Now we do the last terms. And the last terms are this one and this one. So negative 4y times negative 4y. Well, a negative times a negative, that is going to be a positive. And 4 times 4 is 16, so this is plus 16. And y times y is y squared. OK, we've done our foiling. The only thing we have left to do is to combine the like terms. And our terms now, we have an x squared term, a y squared term, and we have two xy terms. So these two are the ones we're going to add together. A negative 20xy and a negative 20xy. You put those together, you get a negative 40xy. And then we just have our 25x squared and our 16y squared. And that is the answer when you multiply 5x minus 4y times itself. All right, let's try one more. So here is another problem. Uh, we have two different polynomials here, 5x minus 9 and 5x plus 7. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to FOIL it. So first, that's 5x times 5x. 5 times 5 is 25. x times x is x squared. Outside, that's 5x times 7, that's plus 35x. Inside, negative 9 times 5x, that's, that's going to be a negative 45x. And the last terms are negative 9 and a positive 7, so that's going to be a negative 63. So there's our foiling. Now we just have to combine the like terms. We have an x squared term, we have just a plain old number term, and we have two x terms a positive 35x and a negative 45x. When you put those together, you get a negative 10x. And we have our 25x squared and our negative 63. And that is our answer. So that's a little bit of work in multiplying polynomials.